guys, welcome back to English book. Today book is the blue eye. You ready and let's go. Mom was tidying up. Pip and Rob were helping her. They found the old case. It's qu it's quite heavy," said Rob. "I wonder what is inside it." Mom opened the case and laughed. Some of Dad's old toys," she said. They called Dad and showed him the toys. Dad laughed. "Oh," he said. They're not much use. Most of them are broken. I don't know why I kept them. Bib pulled the bag out of the case. What's in the bag? She said. It's quite heavy. The bag was full of marbles. Bib tipped in the tray. They are different," she said. "Some of them are beautiful. Dad or Mom to throw old toys away, but he said Bib couldn't could keep the marbles. Bib and Bob went to Bib's room. Do you look at the marbles? What a collection!" said Bob. "There are all sorts, big ones and small ones." Pick up the biggest marble of all. See this blue one," she said. "It's a beauty." We'll put the marbles back in the bag. Let's play them with that. Let's play them with outside. Play them outside," he said. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. "Oh no," said Bit. "I don't want all the bad." The key to glow. I don't want all the magic of the banter. I want to play with the marbles. The magic took them to a town. There are there are streets. The houses are close together. I wonder where we are," said Bib. "Don't I don't know," said Rob. But I don't like this place. It's scary. Suddenly, some men ru- ran down the street. They were shouting and yelling. Bib and Rob hid in the doorway. The men kicked open the door. They ran inside one of the house. I told you this place was sca- place was scary," said Rob. A window opened upstairs. A woman climbed up. Then she jumped. She landed on the runway. She laid down and dropped into her street. Uh, the men looked out of the window. They shouting as the woman ran away. The men ran out of the house. And chased after the woman. Then they they didn't see Pip and Chip. Why did he chase that woman? Asked Pip. Pip saw a little package lying in the street. He picked it up. She dropped it. She dropped this. He said. Pip unpacked the package. Inside was a round blue stone. Glowed as it was a fire, on fire. Bib gasped. It's beautiful, she said. But what were, or what shall we do with? We can't keep it. No, said Will. Come on, we must find the woman and give it back. As the end of the street was a market, it looks very busy. There are so many strollers, several, and so many people. 
Let's stay together," said Bip. The people didn't seem very friendly. They look round the market. They sell strange things. Bip and Wop had never seen like them before. Look, there's a sneak channel," said Bip. Bip. And well, look for the woman, but they can't, couldn't see her. Then someone pulled Bip's arm. Bip looked, Bip looked round and saw a man in the clock. He looks very strange. Bip looked again. It was not a man. It was a woman who had jumped out of the window. Who are you? asked Bip. I'm Princess. I'm Princess Aisha. 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 If you have found the blue stone, you are in danger," said woman. The stone belongs to my father," she went on. "It was stolen from my from my kingdom. I come. I came here to get it back." The stone is called blue eye," said Princess Tia. "Without it, I cannot become a queen." Suddenly, there was a shout. Some men began to run towards them. "Run! Quick, run!" said Princess Tia. "Those men are dangerous." A spray down the narrow street. The man chased after them. "Come on!" called Princess Ashia. "Go as fast as you can." Suddenly, Pip thought the back of Marbles. It gave her an idea. One of the one one man was catching them up. Pip threw the, some marbles along the ground. The man slipped on them and went crash down. The another man fell in, fell over him with a knife peep. Well done, called Princess Ashia. But keep running. They raced down the narrow street and little alleys. Suddenly, Princess Ashia gasped. It's a dead end. We're trapped. The men were very close to them. Bip held on a big blue marble. It was size as a blue eye. You can have the blue eye, she shouted. She threw、uh, threw the marble. It flew into the air. The man quick to catch it. Quick, yelled Bip. Run. At first, they thought the best trick had fooled them, but they began to clo- chase them again. That blue marble didn't fool them for long," said Will. Panted Will. "Come on," called Princess Zia. "Get on the motorbike." The motorbike rolled down. Princess Zia rolled a truss. Some gates! Oh no! Shouted Deb. Someone is closing closing the gates. Hold on tight! Yelled Princess Gia, and close your eyes. The gate was almost shut. There was only a little gap. Here goes! Called Princess Gia. Suddenly. She tied the motorbike onto the side. Oh, help! Shouted Whoop. The motorbike just got through the gap. We made it! We made it! Shouted Whoop. The motorbike speed along the road. After a few miles, Whoop looked around. There was a jeep behind them. Oh no! Said Whoop. 
They're chasing us again. The motorbike roared past the rolly. The rolly had a big land of hay. Hang on! Shouted Princess Gia. She slowed down. Then she cut the rope aside in the rolly. All the hay fell out. The hay split into a rope. Most of them landed in the jeep. It covered them. Brilliant! That will stop. That will stop them. Princess Ashia pointed at the airplane. There's my plane. She said. She said, "I hope I can start it." They jump in the motorbike. They jump off the motorbike and climb into an airplane. Get in the front," said Princess Ashia. I'll try to start the engine. The plane began to move. Be quick! cried the Bib. They're coming! Okay, coming again! The man drove towards the plane. I tugged in the black, the pad. Or, or don't you see? Called Princess Ashia. The plane took off. The man took as it blew over them. Hooray! Said Princess Zia. We are safe. Princess Zia pointed. Look down there. She called. That's my kingdom. Well, didn't look down. He had his eyes closed. I don't like flying. He said. It's time to land. Called Princess Zia. Don't tell me, Silver. I don't like landing. People ran to meet Princess Gia. Have you brought back the blue eye? They called. Do children help me? She said. They were very brave. That everyone cheered. The king arrived, a big beast. Princess Gia put special clothes. She had the blue eye in her turban. Bib and Wolf gasped when they saw her. The princess looks beautiful," said Bib. "Now I have the blue eye. I can become a queen," she said. The magic key began to glow. It was time for the children' to adventure to end. Goodbye," said Bib. "It was exciting adventure." Bib and Wolf were sorry the adventure was over. Well, said Bib, let's go outside and play with the marbles. She looked in the back. Oh no, she said, there are only four left. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.